welcome back to part four of this Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories walkthrough slash playthrough. We are still in Traverse Town, so let's continue our journey. It could still be this bright if it weren't reflecting so much light. I have to see about that. There's nothing strange about that. We came to Traverse Town with Pluto, didn't we? Did we? According to my journal, it was before you met Sora that you came to town with Pluto. We were chasing after Pluto, and that's how we ended up in Cap's Castle Oblivion. But aren't we in Traverse Town? Well, it's not really Traverse Town. I think the card created this Traverse Town inside Castle Oblivion. Ah, who cares about all that? It's too confusing. I don't know where we are, but let's just keep moving forward, defeating Heartless. We'll get somewhere. You better be careful, or it's the Heartless that are going to defeat you. Leon, it's you. What are you doing in Castle Oblivion? In Castle Oblivion? What are you talking about? This is Traverse Town. And how do you know my name? Who are you? I've never met the likes of you before. Quit playing, Leon. We all fought the Heartless together, you know that. 
Look, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't even know your names. You don't? Sorry. I can't believe it. How can you have a got how have you <laughs> sorry. How can you have forgotten about us? Feel for you. Have you got the wrong guy? Happens all the time. Don't take it so personally, Sora. You do know his name. N now, now hold on. Why do I know your name? You think Leon's just kidding around? If he is, it's not funny. Sora's really upset. Who's kidding, Goofy? You and Donald are the ones who... I don't get it. Something's wrong with my memory. What's happening here? I don't know, Leon. Maybe Aerith was onto something after all. Yeah, I can't make my voice feel like it. She said she sent something uncanny kind of power and asked us to look into it. Well, this is, a, this is as uncanny as it gets. Maybe you should take Sora to see Aerith. Yuffie, you know my name. Yep, looks like you know mine too. You know him? Nope, total stranger. But I definitely know his name. Strange, yes, but convenient. We can skip the introductions. How is it that you can accept this situation so easily? I don't get you. Well, I'm gonna run ahead and fill Aerith in. Leon, you give them the grand tour. See you later. I guess it's no use pondering over it. Come on, follow me. There are heartless wandering around town. I better teach you how to protect yourself in battle. See the numbers printed on your cards? They range from zero to nine. Higher numbers mean stronger cards. If you and your enemies both play a card at the same time, the higher card wins. Go on, try it out. how it works? Playing a card higher than your opponents and breaking through their defenses is called a card break. Playing a lower card results in your attack being deflected. Even powerful cards can be deflected if the enemy's card is higher. Whoever is on the losing side of the break is left wide open to attacks. Don't let that person be you. Cards with zero as their value is special. No matter what card you play, the enemy, no matter what card the enemy plays, you can break it with a zero card. But if you play the zero card too soon, the enemy can break it with any card they play. In other words, it's the most powerful card if it comes last, and useless if it comes first. Try to make the most of it. Card values also affect the cost of assembling a deck. Keep that in mind. Now it's time to teach you how to stock cards. You don't have to use battle cards one at a time. You can also assemble three cards and use them all at once. This is called stocking cards. It's 
stacking cards and using them three using them in threes is much stronger than using cards individually. Go on, give it a try. Stack any three cards in your deck. The sum of your three stock cards becomes the value you play. The value is usually higher and hard to break, and the combo attack deals a lot of damage. Don't hold back. Show me what you can do. Combo attacks aren't the only benefits of stocking cards. Choose your cards carefully. You can unleash special abilities called slates. Slates come in all varieties, and each has its own unique card combination. You should try it out once you've collected more cards and learned a slate or two. But keep one thing in mind. Every time you use stock cards, you lose the first card you pick. You can't reload it. The lost card won't return until the end of battle. Relying only on slates will cause you to run out of cards. That means trouble. Or, yeah, more or less. I'll pick up the rest when I fight some real battles. Here, I found this line around. You take it. Remember what I told you and make good use of it. You know, from here on out, I'm probably going to minimalize the amount that I'm going to read. Because a lot of this game in the worlds is just basically that kind of dialogue, so... That's too much. <laughs> Alright everyone, that's all for now. Until next time, stay tuned.